Oh, and there's a there's a spider on my lens. Let's see. <laughs> now he's on my hand. <sighs> Hola, amigos and amigas, and welcome to the Baja Divide Cape Loop series. I'm having a ton of fun down here. Even when it's sandy, I don't care. I'm going slow. I'm loving it. And you know what? This is episode five. So that means I only have two days left. I'm turning the corner and heading back to where I started. You know, I'm really enjoying the perks of being in a town, like eating a banana. I would never pack a banana because it would get destroyed on a bike packing trip, but I can get them here and I'm loving it. Fresh fruit all the way. You don't get a lot of fresh fruit or vegetables in Baja. So you gotta take advantage of it. Thank you, amazing $60 glamping tent. 12 hours of sleep here, pretty incredible. Well, there you are, waiting for me. Let's go. Bye bye tent. I really enjoyed this spot. Future Baja Divide riders, come to the Toto Santos Hostel. It's awesome. Look at that cute dog, hey buddy. Hi buddy. There's lots of cute street dogs in Mexico. And it makes me miss Mira. I miss my Mira and my John. They're somewhere else in Mexico right now. Good morning. Buenos dias. Glad you're behind the fence. You, you look scary. No crashies, no flatties, and definitely no whammies. Let's go have some fun. I'm on the outskirts of town about to hit some dirt. And this reminds me of 2010 when I rode my bike from Vancouver to Cabo San Lucas. I remember getting into Toto Santos and being so happy because there was a giant rainstorm coming. The rain isn't so cozy anymore. It's coming down pretty hard. And I'm hiding under a Pemex gas station with some new buddies. And hopefully this rain will stop soon. I just passed a sign back there, and these are all fresas, which are strawberries, which seems so out of place. You think of strawberries being in these lush areas like Sweden or something, but I guess they can make anything happen when you have water, right? Good morning, cows. How you doing? Buenos dias, vacas. Good morning, good morning. Excuse me. It looks like we're gonna have a very rare cloudy day in Baja. I've been down here a bunch and it's usually always just super sunny. But that cold front did come through and it's only supposed to be 70 degrees here, which is pretty cold for down here. And everybody's freaking out about it. I can hear people talking about it in the grocery store and stuff. it is out here. All I can hear off in the distance are the cows walking around and their little bells around their necks. It's a faint sound of the bells just clanking. Good morning Shadow. Took you long enough to show up. I just found another one of those roadside shrines that I've never seen one quite like this, with all sorts of trinkets and doodads, even a triceratops. That's pretty cool. Look at the moose on the cross. Okay, back to the bike.
I resisted the urge to buy Nutella. I got peanut butter. And this peanut butter is so much easier to spread. Yeah. I popped out of the jungle right there after eating my peanut butter. And I'm in a deep arroyo. There's definitely no riding in this one. It's a deep one. Pushing through the sand. I just saw a sign back there, and then I looked on my map on my cell phone, and I am in a reserve right now, like a nature preserve. Reserva de la Sierra Laguna. And uh, maybe that's why it's all green and beautiful in here. They get uh, they get some water, obviously, and there's some beautiful plants and flowers in here. There's some flowers in here that remind me of the house plants that my mom had at home growing up. <laughs> A lot of punchy hills in this section here. I'm just kind of wiggling around, slowly making my way up. My first running water of the day. There's not enough to jump in, but I just love the sound. It's soothing and just the presence of water makes me feel more comfortable. I don't need any water right now. I have plenty, but I'm sure I'll pass lots of water heading into these hills. Oh, and it just sparks life. You know, you see palm trees where there's water. I haven't seen a palm tree all morning until just now. I'm gonna try going under it first. It's gonna be a little tight. That side's okay. Just gonna kick it through. Oh yeah, handlebars right through the middle. All right. Ta-da! Did it. <sighs> little obstacle course action for the day. Here we go. Here we go. We got some. Loose rocky stuff here. This is barely even a road. Some steep stuff. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, didn't make it. Well, okay. Well, let's start that one over. And <laughs> rewind. Boom. There we go. <laughs> Oh yeah, here we go. Here's some techie stuff. Whoop, whoop. I'm really thankful I have front suspension. Makes us a lot more comfortable. Oh yeah, we're getting real steep here. Ah. <laughs> Woo. Yeah. Ah. Nice. Whoop, whoop. Here we go. Ooh, water. Agua. Here we go. Yeah. 
You want me to ride through a creek? I'll ride through a creek. this hard on the entire ride feels good that's fun Whew. all those bushes are sharp every time I smack into one it scratches me <laughs> at this. I'm going to take my shoes off and walk in the water. I'm guessing that a lot of Baja dividers have camped here. This is an epic spot for sure. It's way too early in the day for me to camp here, but man, I'm going to hang out here for a little bit for sure. You know, this ride and all of my rides for that matter are therapeutic. It's my time to just get outside and think and just be mostly by myself out in nature. And today I've been thinking a lot about my sister. Yeah, I have a sister. I know I haven't mentioned her much on this channel, but I have an older sister named Sarah and she's awesome. But it wasn't always that way. You know, when we were younger, sorry, Sarah, I'm going to out you. She was a bit of a problem child. She was tough and we didn't get along and her friends were mean to me. And, you know, her and my mom battled a lot and uh, it was tough. It created a lot of drama in the house. And for many, many years, all through my 20s, we didn't have much contact at all. She lived in Tennessee, um, far away, raising her own family. But in the last five or so years, we've really mended our relationship. And it's been such a gift. And she was just in Boulder this past Christmas, just... 10 days ago and we had so much fun together and it feels so good to connect with family on that level you know when we were little kids we were best friends kids are always best friends essentially they play with each other they have fun we I have memories of running around the backyard with her in s summertime and running through sprinklers and all that good stuff um so that's what i'm thinking about and i'm just so grateful that our relationship has has blossomed and we talk all the time and I tell her I love her all the time and she's supportive of the crazy things that I do and I'm supportive of what she does and it just feels good to have her back in my life and have her back in the family. She's a good one. Sarah Van Duzer. There's four of us. Sarah, then me, then my brother Logan, and then Ethan. Can you believe my single mom raised four kids? <laughs> she's a hero for sure. Sarah, I love you! You know, when I get out in nature, I do these love shout outs to people I love just so I can send some good vibes their way. That's what I've been doing this whole ride, sending out love to all my family members and all my friends. And right now, this one goes to Sarah. Sarah, I love you. Ooh, that feels good. <laughs> the older I get, the more I realize how important it is to mend relationships and to love hard life is not a given life is fragile we never know when it's going to end or something bad is going to happen and i don't want to not let the people i know that i love them i need to tell them a lot and, and to show it in my actions and my behaviors and uh, that's what it's all about that's what life's all about really you know family friends community being of service, making this planet a better place. That's what it is for me, you know. Many years ago, I was all 
into my career and moving up the ladder and trying to be a TV host. And that was all I thought about. But you know what? Look where I am right now, standing at this beautiful oasis, doing what I love, making videos for you and talking about love. <laughs> it's amazing. I'm so grateful for it. All right, time to go. And I'm going to name this the Sarah Oasis in honor of my sister. All you need is love, da, 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 da. all you need is love, love, love is all you need. Hey buddy. Coming through. Meet me. Shadow, how you doing, buddy? Woo! We're on smooth road. I'm rolling into this tiny town called El Rosario. Man, it looks like something out of a Wild West movie. There's even a church, of course. Ah, oh, this place is awesome. Basketball court over there. A little town plaza. I've started asking around for somebody that can make food, and of course, this kid's gonna show me to this lady who might be able to make me food. <laughs> I love how Mexico works. La buscan. Un gringo. <laughs> Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. Vengo hoy desde Los Todos Santos y tengo mucha hambre. This is cool. She was a little worried she didn't have all the, the food that I might want, but I'm a vegetarian, so it's really easy. Look at her cute little restaurant. I guess it's usually only open on Sundays, but she's hooking me up today. She's gonna make me something vegetarian. This is such a cute little restaurant. I love it. She has all these wonderful Christmas decorations and life affirmations and it is cozy for sure. Faith, peace, love, togetherness, happiness, respect, gratitude, justice, humility, caring and hope. Check it out. She just made me an omelet with a pile of beans, a bowl of verduras, and there's some handmade flour tortillas. Life is good. You know what they say in Mexico before you eat? Buen provecho. That's kind of their way of saying bon appetit. There's just something special about home cooked food and food cooked with love. And she wants you to know that she cooks with love because all these signs say it and i was just telling her that i love her christmas decorations and she says i love christmas so much i don't even want to take them down <laughs> and today is january 10th and she's holding to it and i appreciate her love for christmas because it's uh making me happy right now not only is the food good but her dog over here is so cute looks like a lion <laughs> gracias janet usted es muy amable por hacerme la comida gracias usted. this place is awesome and if you're riding the divide in the future, she's officially only open on Sundays. But if you ask nicely, maybe she'll make you some food. So it is a little after four. I'm not gonna ride anymore today. I'm gonna look for a place to camp here in town. I'd heard that there's like a cactus sanctuary very close that you might be able to camp at. So this adventure isn't over. I have found my spot for the day. I'm about 45 seconds from where I just ate food. And I rode into this cactus sanctuary 
The gentleman back there is super friendly. He's going to give me a little tour. You're going to see that. And I am going to camp right here. There's a cozy little picnic table. And I'm happy. I'm happy to be here. This is awesome. Mucho gusto, amigo. Hola, buenas tardes. Este, mi nombre es Lupe. Yo le voy a mostrar el santuario ahorita en una media hora, aunque puedo mostrarle en una hora. And I speak English too. Not a hundred, but I can keep conversation. All the world know me. Every, all the world congratulations me. Good. Yes. That's amazing. Y dele un masaje a la palma de la mano. Todos los nervios de aquí de la nuca que van a la mano se van a relajar. Va a salir el estrés y entra la energía positiva a la tierra. De veras. Cuando salga de aquí, usted todo lo que vea negativo lo va a convertir en, en positivo. Suena bien. Yeah. Oh, that feels good actually. Se, dígame se qué bien, siente. Amigo. Sí, se wow, está relajando like los that. nervios. I'm loving this. This is really cool. Pero son flexibles. Lo voy a, a, a probar que huh. son flexibles. El huracán los mueve así más fuerte cada año. Huh. Algunas veces se quiebran, se caen y vuelven a regenerar. This guy's hard to keep up with. He's cruising. <laughs> okay. Están unas plantas donde el pájaro comió la fruta, desecó ahí y nacieron más plantas. He said this is a mutation here. Aquí está esta otra. La gente dice que es el cactus bailador. <laughs> this one is 200 years old. He keeps talking about how all these plants take away his negative energy and turns it into positive. I like that. Bueno, muchas gracias, amigo, por todo. Muy interesante. He's making me a fire so I can stay warm tonight. What a guy. Bueno. Okay, adios. Bueno, adios, amigo. We walked around for probably 45 minutes, and pretty much all he was saying was, Touch this cactus. It'll take away the negative energy and give you positive energy. He was way into this energy, and I'm, I'm all about that. It's cool. He's like, if you just think good thoughts, good things will happen. Touch this cactus. Check it out. Takes away your negative energy. <laughs> it was awesome. And, uh, man, he was just going a mile a minute and showing me everything. And Really grateful to have met him right before he left for the day. And Today was a great day. It really was. I felt just in the zone. You know, I wasn't in a hurry, wasn't going too fast. I was just doing my thing. Uh, a lot of time to think. He's the only human I interacted with today besides the woman I ate dinner with. I didn't see any cars all day, which was very cool. And, uh, yeah, just really grateful for this one. It was, a, it was a good one for sure. And now I have a safe place to camp and a fire and a belly full of food. La vida es buena. Oh, and there's a... There's a spider on my lens. Let's see. <laughs> Buenas noches. I'm liking my little fire right outside the door. <laughs> you know what's funny is I get so much rest when I'm in Baja. The sun goes down. It is dark, dark at like 6. And then I'm laying down in my tent till 6, 6.30 the next morning. 12 hours. That's a good way for your body to recoup. <laughs> Sleep a lot. What's up, everybody? I'm gonna see how many twirls I can do. Let's go. One, two. Oh, I'm gonna get dizzy. I'm gonna stop right there. Hey, thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. If you watched it this far, that means you're a super fan. And if you're a super fan, might I request that you consider joining my Patreon? My Patreon is a way for me to connect with my viewers on a more intimate level, not that intimate. Uh, you'll get early release videos with no ads. I usually produce about one video a week. You will also have direct access to me to ask me questions about anything that is on your mind. And I sometimes do Zoom chats with all my patrons. It's really fun. We've built a great community over there. I will link it down right here. I will post it and link it and do it all that, but it's pretty easy to find. For $5 a month, you can get all this, and you have the satisfaction of knowing that you're keeping my channel moving forward so that I can continue bringing you these videos. So, thank you. Should I do more spins for you? Let's see. One, <laughs> two, oh, okay. Woo, man, it's amazing how quickly you get dizzy. See you later. <laughs>